Thank you for joining us live on our stream CBS News Colorado for an update on our top story, the Alexander Mountain Fire. In just the last hour, we learned the fire has grown to more than 1800 acres and there is still no containment. The fire was first reported at 1030 Monday morning. Evacuations were ordered shortly after that. The fire grew to 300 acres by 245 in the afternoon. Crews continued to do what they could to slow the spread, but the fire continued to grow. Your reporter Justin Adams has been in Loveland all morning long and Justin you heard an update from the US Forest Service just a little bit ago. Well, Michelle, you just said that it grew over 1800 acres. How about 1820 acres in size is now this Alexander Mountain wildfire. And I want you to take a look at the fires. You can see the huge plume of smoke. And because we have some clear skies, we get a better look at this fire right now that has literally doubled in size of what we saw from this morning. Remember this morning it was at 992 acres. Now we're looking at 1820 acres in size and there is still zero containment. Now take a look at this video that we have from our helicopter. You could just see the flames continuing on the rocky terrain and this led to mandatory and voluntary evacuations in the area. Larimer County Sheriff spoke about why they made the decision to put those evacuations in place. We draw a great big box early on. We're because it's easier to say you're OK and then be Right, that's bad and then be wrong and now we have to move you and we don't want to move you at night or have you move at night. So we drew the, our evacuation boxes very, very large just for that very purpose. Now, Michelle, the wind is starting to blow a little bit to the north. You don't see it too much right now on screen, but there's just a swift breeze that is coming, and that could be something that can continue to grow this fire that, once again, is at 1,820 acres in size. Coming up at noon, we're expected to hear from the Larimer County Sheriff just to give us an update on this fire. But again, it has doubled in size, something that we saw yesterday, and hopefully fire crews will be able to get a handle on this huge fire. In Loveland, I'm your reporter Justin Adams covering Colorado First. Yeah, we hope so. Justin, thank you. We want to get over to our first alert meteorologist, Callie Zanandri, right now. Will conditions help firefighters out there? You know, we're tracking things very closely. Michelle, it is a first alert weather day. Noon this morning, a red flag warning added for the area. The front range foothills under this red flag warning as well, as we're seeing very, very dry conditions throughout the area. And we're expecting the wind to increase slightly later this afternoon. Taking a look at the relative humidity, this is the measure of moisture in the atmosphere Normally at this time in the morning, we're looking at around 30%, but right now we're dropping down to the teens in that area at 14%. And we're expecting this to continue to fall through the afternoon, dipping down to close to 9% relative humidity by the afternoon hours as we see the temperatures climb. We've also seen the wind pick up earlier this morning. We saw very, very calm conditions in the area, but we are seeing that wind slightly increase. We're seeing gusts around 15 to 20 miles per hour in the area with sustained winds around 5 to 10. So still it's a light breeze out there and this is going to definitely help things so that this does not spread more quickly than what we're seeing now. Throughout the day we're expecting that wind to continue to be in that 10 to 20 mile an hour gust through the afternoon. After dark tonight that's when we'll start to see that wind relax just a bit and that's what we're looking for because that's really going to help those firefighting efforts. As far as temperatures go unfortunately it's going to be even hotter today compared to yesterday. We're going to top out in the triple digits, so a very, very hot day on tap. Most likely the hottest day this week. Looking ahead, we will still stay above normal, but we will see temperatures fall slightly. One thing you will notice in this area, taking a look at the smoke forecast, is we are seeing an impact from this fire with our air quality. We'll continue to see smoke from the Alexander Mountain Fire filter into the Denver metro area. This is pushing south, the smoke, so you may notice a bit of haze out there, especially as you travel north on I-25 closer to the fire. Now tonight into tomorrow, we'll also have smoke filtering in from some of the California wildfires so we're expecting the smoke, the haze. This is only going to increase through tonight into tomorrow. We'll see moderate to thick smoke at times up and down the I-25 corridor as well as Eastern Plains as we see that smoke really filter in and take hold. So an air quality alert is in place up and down the I-25 corridor today. 
air is unhealthy for sensitive groups, so if you do fall in that category, you want to make sure and limit your time outside. It's not only the wildfire smoke, though. We're also tracking high ground level ozone due to the heat that we're seeing, so it's that double combination really making for that poor air quality and those hazy skies out there. Looking for some moisture, we need some relief from all of this heat and the dry conditions. Unfortunately, we are just not going to see it. We are expecting to stay dry today as well as tomorrow. That pattern will continue. Thursday and Friday, we have a very small chance to see a storm make its way here. The only problem is with the hot weather we're expecting, most of that rain is going to evaporate before it even hits the ground. So we're mostly tracking some dry thunderstorms on Thursday and Friday, but we will take any moisture we can get. Looking ahead to the weekend, we dry out as well, so really little relief is in sight. And looking ahead to tomorrow, we will see temperatures dip just slightly. We'll be back into the mid to upper 90s, so a little bit of relief in the heat department tomorrow. But unfortunately, Michelle, we are just not expecting much moisture. And that's what we could really use, not only there, but statewide, as we have seen just a very dry and hot stretch. Yeah, that would be helpful. All right, Kelly, thank you. We'll be back with another update on CBS Colorado at noon. And join us back here at the top of the hour for updates at 1, 2, and 3 this afternoon. We'll see you then.